be going over the between. You can call it under, through, between. If you're training in a different language, you can call it whatever you want. What we teach them is to go between our legs and face forward. The reason for this is a lot of good reasons. One, if you're in an uncontrolled environment and you have dogs or people coming up to you, your legs can act as two barriers that you can protect your dog from unwanted guests coming into their space. It also helps crisp up their positions. So if you're working on a back with your dog and your dog starts to turn, you can use your leg pressure to keep your dog straight when they're between you. And then also to work on your sit to stand, you can use a little bit of leg pressure underneath their uh, stomach area to pop them up into a stand. So it's a really good and beneficial command to teach your dog. So first we're just gonna lure them into the behavior. We go from the front position and then we turn them around to reface us. You can also teach them to go around your right leg and back through facing forward. Whichever way that you teach your dog, just make sure that you're staying consistent with whatever action that you're training them. Don't confuse them and do both. So your dog might be uncomfortable going through your legs. So what you can first start off with is just tossing food in between your legs just to get them comfortable doing this. You'll see Wonder, who is a 13 week old pup, having a little bit of struggle. So we did a few tosses in between to get him acclimated to it's safe to go in between my legs. And then after he was a little bit more comfortable, we'll start expecting him to go through and back forward. Once your dog has a solid understanding of going between and forward, you can start to add in some motion to the behavior. So you wanna hold your treat in your hand underneath your thumb, and then you're gonna put your thumb up to your belly button, which is gonna result in your dog facing up, nice and straight, that's what we want, that gaze versus them looking forward. You can add in a few steps, forward, backwards, and then start doing some U-turns as well, using a little bit of leg pressure to help them out, breaking them out quite often, especially in the beginning stages, don't make them hold this position. Then you're gonna layer on your leash to the equation. So once your dog has a solid understanding and is comfortable underneath you, you will add in a little bit of leash pressure. Make sure that your leash is parallel to your dog. So when they're underneath you, you don't wanna go at a 45 degree angle to move them forward. You wanna make sure that that leash is going out straight. That way it's pulling them in the direction that you want. Same thing if they start to get ahead of you and try and move out of that between position, you can move your leash straight back. Oh, Lastly, you're gonna layer on your e-collar. So you're gonna use your yes. e-collar and then your leash as a second form of communication. And this is gonna make it fast, dynamic, make sure you're releasing your dog out every so often to keep speed in your positions. Oh.